So like one person that you remind me of a lot or it reminds me of you, you know what I'm saying, is, is this guy named Chad. He made a few songs that's really buzzing. And I would really like to hear y'all on the track together. I think y'all complement each other very yeah. well, you know what I'm saying? So I want to know from your perspective, do you think that as far as collaborations go, that a lot of South Florida artists try not to collaborate? Do you think they kind of collaborate enough or that we should probably see more of it? I don't know, bro. It, it depends on how artists feeling, you feel me? Some artists really be on that vibe, like they just want to create good music with other artists. And then you got some artists, they be on that whole business, business, cut a check vibe, you feel me? Like, you just, it just depends on, on what artists. And then you, you'll run into niggas and some niggas going to vibe, some niggas going to want to knock a track out, knock out two, three on them. And some niggas just gonna be on that. Yeah, I'm gonna holler at you. I done had to do a couple of artists like that. Yeah, I'm gonna holler at you, and we don't never really do no song. Nobody don't ever hit each other up. That shit happened a lot. Niggas just don't even be knowing what else to say. Niggas, instead of just saying, what's up, and keeping the move. What's up, boy? Yeah, we got to knock one out, you feel me? Yeah, let's just change up. Niggas really wasn't even trying to do no track, you feel me, so. Exactly. Um, so, you know, we spoke earlier about uh, like the radio station support in South Florida, right? But a lot of people will argue that South Florida doesn't really support South Florida. So, so what I mean is, like, I'm from Miami Gardens, right? And every time something happens, everybody talks about moving. Somebody got shot, oh, I'm moving. So it's like everybody's here, but they, like, openly kind of don't want to be here, even though they ain't going nowhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you've seen in recent social media, like, Kodak Black got into it with, um, with Soulja Soulja Boy. Boy. Yeah, I think they were, he was supposed to do a song with him or something, and Kodak was like, you know, he threw shots, and Soldier Boy threw shots back, and then the whole Broward County just started like, you know, social media, you know, just started going at him. And then I think I saw, um, I want to say Young Breed, but don't quote me on that. He was like, you know, if that was Dave, that would never happen. Like, Dave wouldn't take up for somebody. You know, like, that on a national artist probably came out. Do you, do you think that's true, or do you think... You know, we kind of do have, like, that community base. No, I don't, th I don't really think we got it like that, to be honest. Um, motherfuckers don't be caring. They just going with what's hot. If the hot artist is smashing the hottest from Miami, they going to run with that hot artist. Wayne and them came down here talking about they fucked the heat, players, wife, and all type of other shit. Whatever it was, however it went. You feel me? Miami just like that, bro. Like, they fuck with you when you on. You ain't got shit to give them, they ain't fucking with you. That's how it is. I agree. I agree to a certain aspect. Because, like, when, um, it's, 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 like, Pretty Ricky, for instance, right? If you really think about it, Pretty, Pretty Ricky has done a lot musically. They sold a lot of records, did a lot of shit. But you rarely ever hear Miami people be like, yeah, they from Dave. You know what I'm saying? Trinity song come on, everybody gonna snap. Pretty Ricky song come on, you might go find a girl to dance, but ain't nobody gonna rap. Like, yeah, they from Miami, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, possibly we do, possibly we don't. But what do you think kind of made those Broward people just be like, yo, Soulja Boy, you ain't saying shit about Broward. Snap at your ass. Because they kind of did the same thing with Ace Hood. Like, if you ever met a nigga from Broward from back in the days, they listen to Ace Hood. Like, that's, you know, that's the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So do you think it's just Miami that won't defend they? Or, you know, Broward just defends it very well? I really ain't, I ain't really even got no answer for you, bro. Honestly, bro, for other than what I already said, shit, they just gonna fuck with what's hot. That shit's so mixed up down there anyway, you feel me? They just gonna fuck with whoever hot. Yeah, 